Hi, I'm Mike McCaffrey, the Web Development Manager for Architecture of Humanity. I'm here to talk about the Open Architecture Network. It's more than just a website, it's a platform for conducting humanitarian and environmental design projects. It was the implementation started in 2006 when Cameron Sinclair won the TED Prize. He had the vision to improve the lives of five billion people with not just one, but millions of innovative design solutions. The implementation of the vision was started by Architecture Humanity, but involved a series of uh, various uh, supporters and founding organizations, uh, including those listed here, but also thousands of individuals and groups which worked uh, and gave their time and effort to help implement the, implement the site and make it the success that it was. There's four major services that are offered by the Open Architecture Network. They become an integral part in not only how architecture humanity operates its day-to-day uh, -day operations, but also in other nonprofit organizations, foundations, government institutions, and, um, and corporate philanthropies. Projects is the main part, including the project management and evaluation tools. There's over 3,000 projects on the network right now, um, with tens of thousands of users contributing both their design skills and their feedback. Projects on the site vary in scale and location, with everything from small shelters that would be deployed in the United States to entire master plans for communities in Rwanda. And since the site allows anyone to register and submit their own content, you get a variety of ideas, uh, everything from basic houses to more complicated pie-in-the-sky ideas to solve real-world problems. Uh, because it all happens online, virtual teams around the world who haven't even actually met can work together uh, to adapt to design, including having a foundation in Ohio uh, oversee the design and construction of an orphanage in, um, in Peru. And transparency is an integral part of the transparency is an integral part of the site as well, with many projects released under a Creative Commons license, um, such as the Biloxi Model Homes, which were built in Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina. As the design teams are working on those, coming up with solutions to new building codes and uh, environmental challenges, other developers were quick to adopt a lot of the, a lot of the new ideas for their own projects, creating a lot of cross-pollination. Uh, the second major service that we're offering is we're building a database of design and construction professionals all around the world. When users log on to our site, they not only enter their geographic location, but also their relevant design skills that might contribute to an architecture or construction project. That means that when you need to find someone to either volunteer or work on your project in a specific region, you're able to look on the site and query the number of users around there and find them. This is especially important when organizations are responding to humanitarian problems. Um, the, third, the third major source, uh, the first, third, hmm, third major service that the site is providing is still under construction. It's the resources section that's going to contain a series of topics on things such as, um, as building materials, uh, construction methods and um, climate scores. Uh, people will be coming to the site not only to give up their current, ec uh, their current experience and skills, but also to learn new building, um, learn new building things to help them, whatever. Okay, uh, the fourth and last but not least, final um, service provided by the site is the competition tool. Uh, this helps organizations pose a problem to the design community who then work to respond and create uh, new solutions. Today, as Barack Obama spoke and underlined the importance of improving education in our country, we released the final uh, results of the 2009 Open Architecture Challenge, which focused on classroom design. Um, right now, there's hundreds of new classroom designs on the site. Uh, those contain thousands of innovative ideas to let teachers and schools improve the quality of education within their own classrooms. And those ideas weren't only from you know, standard design professionals, but they also involved children, uh, school, school students at uh, local partner schools who helped identify shortcomings in their own school classrooms and uh, come up with ideas for resolving those. And I urge everyone to visit the Open Architecture Network and check out the results of the Open Architecture Challenge. Um, if you feel inclined, please share the links with your friends and relatives and help contribute to building the um, winning schools and other uh, recognized designs. And uh, thank you very much. Um, 
we look forward to possibly hosting other projects and competitions in the future, and please contact me if you have any uh, questions.